On my travels throughout Canada, I seem to be meeting amazing people doing really cool things living out of small, tiny spaces. Today, we're with a face that you guys know, that's Mr. Sharing the Wild. He's been on my channel quite a bit. And finally, you guys get to see the inside of his caravan. It is the most innovative and thought out build I've ever seen. Every little crevice and cubby and drawer cupboard and it was so methodically thought out. I'm kind of stoked to show you guys this. Let's go. Hey, my name is Joseph, and I'm also of the YouTube channel Sharing the Wild. This is my 2005 Dodge Grand Caravan that I built out in the last two years I live in this full time. Let me show you my house. Guess I'll tell you about the inside of my house and how it all works. The main part was the bed and the design of that and everything else is built around that premise. Um, I guess I'll start with the cabinets and we'll get back to that. So this side, this there's a window behind here that I ended up deleting, covering up. It was something I didn't need when I was shoulder checking while I was driving. So I've used this floor to ceiling cabinets back here. I've got uh, drawers here that I just keep kitchen stuff in, so it's like spices, some seeds and stuff like that, utensils, whatnot. These two cupboards I use for all my clothing, so that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Pretty minimal. Some shirts and stuff back there, and then up here is just things like underwear and socks. Um, and I've got a latch on here as well because. All the wiring goes up through the back of this thing so I can access the wiring change out anything I need to service it at any time in the future basically all the material is birch plywood and then it's painted I've routed the edges I've used things like slam latches and these little drawer pulls this section up here is um, basically just a small junction box so I got two screws I can open it up and it's a bunch of electrical connections and I got my light switches on there uh, you can use a dimmer underneath the kitchen counter, like so. And then this thing here is a thermostat that's running the fan that's on my fridge. Um, it's an additional fan just to help with the ventilation because of where it's at. So let's get into the fridge. A small Dometic refrigerator, it's 12 volt, and I have it on a slide out drawer like so. And that thermostat's powering this fan in the front. So in the inside of this cavity because it's built into the cabinet itself. If it does get too hot, then that's gonna kick on that thermostat and run that fan in addition to the fridge fan and all that sort of thing. So that just closes up like so. Then I just have a one slide out drawer. I keep things like my smaller jet boil in here, coffee, stuff like that. Just things that I grab it quickly and whenever. Uh, countertop and spice rack in here that I just keep, I don't know, various things in, magnesium, vitamins, that sort of thing. And that's all in a piano hinge as well. So this cabinet up here is also just a continuation little GoPro mount on there, but it's just a continuation of the wiring covering. Uh, so I got a dry brush up there that I use sometimes. And then just, just stuff, really. These are just little knickknacks that I use, these twist up wires, used for various things. This is a little pocket that I've put in here. I just, this is a curtain that I use. I throw this up behind my seat when, at nighttime when I want some privacy. And then I've got two jugs of, you know, four liters each for fresh water that I can access inside the van. So it's, uh, yeah, I mean, this is just pretty basic at this point, and I haven't made a really nice one, but I just snap it up there like so. And then this one snaps over on the other side, and then I just go like that. I've got a couple magnets in behind this trim piece on the fan itself. 
And then for now, I just tuck this in here and then I throw this up on this side with a little magnet. Uh, one of the last things I did to the van is I took out the passenger seat and I built this cabinet here. So I've got a small shelf right here with a lip on it to keep things in and I can carry stuff as I'm driving. This is just a bigger pocket down in here to throw things like papers, documents, whatever I want, and then shoes and stuff in these cupboards here. Um, and then just, you know, a nice counter on the top of it that I can throw some stuff on. There's some cubbies that are accessible right here and here, which allows me to just open the sliding door and I can just reach in and grab something quickly. Often I'll just keep a sweater, an extra layer in one of those cubbies there. This is the back side of that cabinet. In this case, I redid this whole door panel um, and then this top part. And I did that because I wanted to take away from all the extra funky shape of the plastic one. So I preserved the handle and the door switches and stuff like that. And then the motor for the window. And in here I keep 40 liters of water. I've got two jugs that I can flip out. And then it's just a random storage spot in the front. I keep things like laundry, Got my little air blower in there, some chairs and a hammock and stuff like that for camping. This side of this cabinet, at least the front facing side of it, I keep my pee bottle up in the top. And then here is just a access hatch to a, my fire extinguisher. This way I can quickly grab it if I'm outside the van, if anything's going on. And I carry a full size one in there. The floor here, there's Two things to know, I guess the first thing is that this van is a stow-and-go feature, which means the seats sit into the floor itself, and I've kept one of them. So I'll show you how that works. So I lift this up, and I'll put this aside for a moment. And I'll take this piece up, and I'll do the same thing. And then this pulls back, locks into place, and flip this up in the back fix the headrest and then I'll take the smaller piece and I'll just put it under the floor so it's out of the way and then this other piece goes right back down onto the floor like that so if I do have a passenger in here I'll, I'll take these things that I got hanging off of there I've got the seat belt that's here for them and they can just essentially ride along with me. So the other side is, um, there was a seat here, I took it out, and I just use this whole compartment to store things like my cooking stove. Uh, I've got a little blender down there and various things for, you know, kitchen stuff pretty much. And then, uh, because I do most of my food prep in here, um, oftentimes I'll pull the fridge out and I'll use it, I'll use this surface as an area to prep food. Sometimes I'll cook on the counter or I'll cook on this other counter now. Occasionally I'll cook down here as well. And then over here I've got my paper towel which is really easily accessible. Um, and then just some taller items down on the bottom, things like cleaner, olive oil, that sort of thing. Got a little can of bear spray in there too. Okay, so the bed is pretty much, you know, the main design. Of course, it's a couch as well on both sides. So this side, you just lift this up and I'll slide it forward. There's a little latch down there that locks it. And then that's it. I keep uh, some privacy screens here, which is just one inch thick foam. It's an EVA from a camping store. They're tattered. I've had these for a couple of years now, um, but they still do the trick. And then, yeah, I just grab my bedding and throw it out for, for the evening. And, um, throw all the privacy stuff up and lay down and that's it. Pretty cozy and you sleep this way. So it's 42 inches by 80 inches in length. And then, yeah, there's more cupboards here. These cutouts on the cupboards, I purposely made those in these shapes so that when the bed is up into a couch form, I can reach in there with my hand and grab something. Otherwise, I can only open these up fully when the bed is in its down position. So I got, you know, one there, one here. Others on the other side here too. So back here, I can, you know, if I do want to use the back couch, as a couch, I just throw this stuff on the other side. It's like maybe a little bit irritating, but it's not such a bad thing to deal with. So I do that and then I can hop up here and just chill out. Got a rain cover and everything. It's genius, dude.
basically like I've got a charger that I charge from solar and the alternator. Um, I've got 200 watts of solar up on the roof and I got 200 amp hours of battery on board. Um, other than that, it's a little 700 watt inverter that covers all my needs. I've got my little battery charger for my cordless tools and then the DC distribution system, which goes out to everything else. You know, aside from that, it's just, you know, I've got the, I guess a, a Victron battery monitor with the Bluetooth, so I can pull that up on my phone. Uh, remote start for the inverter and then just my, um, what do you call that thing? CO2 or carbon monoxide meter, that thing there. And then the electrical is just kind of throughout the van. I can access all the wires when I need to. Uh, there's an AC plug in the front as well as back here on the back. If there's anything that I need to plug into AC power, I can do that right here. I've also got two 12 volt ports here as well, just plug in anything 12 volt. Up here, this is my air compressor outlet. So I just pull this off. I can throw my air line on that. And, and I can pump up my tires or do my, my airbag system. Um, on the back of this counter, I actually have two wireless chargers for my phone. So I can just throw my phone right on there as I go to bed and it'll charge it up. Uh, this is the diesel heater air output right there. There's a little 12 volt charger in the back there. And the heater is actually living behind this grill. I can service it, so it's similar to the electrical cabinet. I can just pull this out and then I can get in there and access the heater if I need to clean it, clean it out. Get into the back here, which is kind of my tool storage at this point. And if I really want to not mess around with that holding that cupboard up, I can move these cushions out of the way if I'm working on a project and I can just open that up and have access to everything like this. Um, so yeah, just uh, tool, standard tools that I use pretty well as I live in the van. I've also got my chainsaw in here too. And uh, that's the airline. And then there's a couple drawers right back here that I just keep extra wrenches and stuff like that for any repairs that I gotta do on the road for the van. And then the last thing about this is my battery storage is tucked in in the back up in here. The airlift system that I just installed is fairly new to me, so I can't say much about the technology, but right here I can fill it up on each side, and that way I can low level the vehicle. I was just running into some issues where after doing my suspension upgrades, things did start to settle, and I'm not completely sure the weight is evenly distributed on both sides, so having that in there gives me a little bit more confidence to level out the load of the vehicle. All right, let me, let me share a little backstory from where I came from and how this all came to be. Um, I was in a, a relationship that didn't really work out. Um, it was a pretty stressful, difficult time in my life. And um, for a while I was sharing roommates and stuff like that beforehand. So after that relationship ended, I came out into the rental market and the cost of living had gone way up and it was far beyond what I could afford. And I also thought about um, my daughter and things like that. And I thought, well, the healthiest thing I can do is try to keep my costs down and um, rebalance my financial book at the end of the day. And then also myself, my heart and stuff like that. And so I started looking into van life. I just literally knew that all I needed was six feet by two feet of horizontal space that I could lay down and sleep at the end of the day. Spent most of my days out working, um, been in the yoga industry for about 10 years now. And um, I won't really get into that, but it's just, you know, that's the type of business that I've been involved in. And at the time I had a two door Jeep Wrangler. It was my, um, my hunting rig pretty much. So I'd use it for off-roading, getting up into the mountains and doing what I wanted to do was hunting and fishing. And at the time I, I was like, okay, I'm going to explore this. And I decided to try living out of the Jeep for a little while. And I spent a full month where I was like, okay, this is doable. Like I actually I enjoyed it. So I gave my notice to the apartment that I was renting and, uh, that was it. I stayed in the Jeep for about three months and winter was approaching. I was thinking about more space and I was thinking about the type of work that I'm doing. Like I needed to 
you know, be able to work in a clean environment with my laptop and stuff like that and just get on with life, right? So I decided to look into a van and there was quite a few different options available at the time. It ended up becoming a minivan at the time because I was, I needed that seat in the back here where I could safely secure a child seat for my daughter and stuff. And so uh, that's that's why I chose this vehicle. And I wasn't really planning to build it out like this at all. I just, one day it just, I was looking at it and I was like, I just, you know, I think this is what I'm gonna have to stay in for a few years. And I pulled a couple panels off, I looked underneath and I thought, well, that's interesting. There's a lot more space here available to me if I just remove these panels. And it was pretty, you know, I'd say kind of grimy and stuff like that. It was kind of ghetto when I pulled everything out of here and I was just sleeping in it with a mattress and everything was raw. There was wires exposed, there was insulation. It was just, you know, there was a, there was a period of time there where things didn't look the way they look today. And what I would do with the build is I would, you know, sleep in here, spend some time in here. And I would think to myself like, this makes sense. I'll put this here and I'll put this here. But really the whole thing started with the bed design and then everything else went after that. And it took a lot, it took a while. Like honestly, it took me a while to build this thing out. Each little spot was something that I thought carefully about and then I would try it out and, you know, put it together. And right now everything's really practical. It's very functional for me. Um, I can get around, I can do my work out of it. And since all that started, I also started my own YouTube channel. Uh, the name of that is called Sharing the Wild. And a lot of this van build and the full construction of this is all on there on the build series playlist. And then the other part of that channel is just sharing the wild. Literally, it's taking viewers like you out into the wild on hunting and fishing trips, foraging for wild foods. I show a lot of different edible plants and things like that. And experiences that are shared with other people as well. Um, so yeah, that's... Uh, that's kind of it in a nutshell. Things are definitely changing for me now as, you know, evolving through all these changes that we've been going through with the pandemic and stuff. And uh, I'm feeling much better situated in my life circumstance for tomorrow and the future. Anyway, thanks for coming along and spending some time with me today and sharing, uh, sharing the space with me and checking out my home. If you want to check out my YouTube channel again, it's called Sharing the Wild and come come check it out see you soon bye